After getting some heat over no local emulation for PS3 games on their new PlayStation Plus service last week, including from myself on the podcast last week, Jeff Grubb of VentureBeat went digging uh, to ask some of his sources if they knew anything about the possibility of that changing. And after he waited some time to hear back from his sources, according to, uh, to their sources, it does appear that there is still a possibility for that to happen. Local uh, emulation of the PlayStation 3 games. But if it does happen, it will take time before it would be able to go through. Uh, and that does make sense in that we know that the PlayStation 3's architecture was incredibly complicated for reasons nobody ever really fucking understood and only a handful of games ever were able to make use of, uh, even on the PlayStation 3 during its time uh, out in the market. And so emulating it while possible, and there are even some, some you know, off-market emulators for PS3 that work sort of okay for some games right now it's not an easy thing to do and clearly it would be an expensive endeavor which is why last week we we assumed it was the money that was stopping them from doing it uh in the first place because really when you think about it having emulation done like that is less about making money and more of like a uh pr thing at that point um because really if people wanted to play their ps3 games you just fucking go buy a ps3 and just play that shit locally. Pretty cheap too. And be done with it, you know. <laughs> Pretty fucking cheap. Yeah, exactly. Cuz like uh, cuz unless unless you are going to do what Xbox did and include reasons to play it, like let's say I have a 360 and I could play some of, you know, the 360 games, but on the Xbox One or the Xbox Series X, they have um they have that game available, but it's getting resolution boosted and frame rate boosted. Well, now I have a reason to play it on the Series X instead of digging out my 360. But uh, on, so on the PS3 side, I don't know if they're targeting that kind of a, of a program or if they're just targeting the ability to locally play those games. Either one would be great. Clearly, we know which one of those two would be better received, but it's a very expensive thing for them to do uh, and is only, as of right now, rumored to be internally uh, being explored as an option. And I, I, I don't doubt that they thought about it before announcing this the package that they put out um it's an e it's it's the easiest thing for them to think of because it's something their competitor is doing but again very expensive and certainly more expensive than what it would have been for microsoft to do xbox's emulation uh the way that they did it and it's really playstation shot themselves in the foot it was just the ps3's architecture was a gong show so that's, it's kind of just a, a a shittier situation uh for them to do that you know what something i thought about when i read when i read this and after i talked about it last week you know, and uh, how I was like shitting on them for not having local uh, emulation is that at the end of the day, at least for me, and I'm, and I'm not saying this is everyone because lots of people bought and played PS3 stuff, is I couldn't really think of a hell of a lot of games that I would desperately need backwards compatibility for because I think a lot of them that are on the PS3 were already remastered at this point and released on the PS4 or now the PS5. Like the... Um, like the uh, Uncharted games, I think, got re-releases. Uh, the Last of Us got put onto the PS4, uh, for example. I think a lot of the stuff that PS3 were like the heavy hitters. I think the only thing that wouldn't be would be, I think there was a Metal Gear Solid game that was very specific to the PS3. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and that's about it. I, I couldn't think of like, do you remember, did you even play much PS3? You own a PS3. I have a, I have a, you get the several. fat, don't you? Yeah, I've got several PS3s here, but um, a fine collection of leather-bound PS3s. Yeah, I, I uh, PS3 is just not a system I played a whole lot of. I mean, I've, mm. I, I, by that time I was a PC gamer, so I mean that's I true. Played, that's true. I was basically just playing StarCraft on the internet. That's pretty much that's true. That. Um, you played like Heavy Rain. I remember you streamed Heavy Rain. I think at one point that I was. Uh, that yeah, was one I mean, of them. I did play some games. For yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah, decent, yeah. Like a, like a decent amount, but um, a lot of the stuff, I use my PS3 to play PS2 games or PS1 games, not necessarily PS3 <laughs> games. <laughs> That's true. And then they and then they stopped producing those too, like the PS3 fats. It wasn't, how long into the life cycle when they, when they axed that? Was that like after year one or was it like six months deep? I think it was, I think it was the first year yeah. that, they, that they got rid of that. Yeah. And then the price of those went through like the fucking roof uh, yeah, for a time. Yeah, like, they're about, quote, Three to four hundred Canadian now, now for the wow. backwards, like the fully backwards compatible. Because there God is damn. a version as well that it's backwards compatible, but only digitally. You can't oh. you can't actually put the disc in. 
you have to um, download the games and you can play the games like off a hard download. drive or some oh. shit. Well, yeah, or like you or can through their network the games on, through their network. Um, and then there's like the the the, the disc really based expensive one, one the, the big big expensive one. That's the one where you just put the discs in and then right. you're, you're good. Fuck. Get out there and find one. Your local garage sale. Yeah. Are you doing that this summer? Are you going back garaging this summer? Oh, 100%, man. <laughs> That's going to be happening every Saturday morning. Getting back on the garage sure. hype. Yeah, and I'm probably going to find nothing, but <laughs> it is nice to go out there and, and hey, hustle you, around. You know what? You never know after two years of being in isolation and people renovating their houses and like digging through That's shit because they got nothing else to do. Fuck, you never know what they found hiding in a corner somewhere that they're trying to get rid of now that you know, that it's open season. It could happen. It yeah. could happen. Has Facebook Marketplace like started blowing up yet with people like posting and now that the weather's turned or is it no, still too I early? Mean, Facebook Marketplace is always bumping. Um, oh, okay. There's people are always selling shit on there. But video game wise, the, the hardest thing now with video game collecting is there's been so much publicity about video game collecting and how much money video same with Pokemon cards. It's like everything's going will have, up. Yeah, everything every somebody will have like Super Mario Bros. for the <laughs> regular Nintendo and they're like, I want thirty dollars for this. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not worth thirty dollars. Well, I saw something on the internet where Mario's bros went for a million bucks. You know, it's like Oh yeah, true. It yeah. just kinda it, it just ruins and the irony it's, of that was that that was deal. like the, and the irony of that one was that like all the Mario shit was like completely fucking forged for the, the sale of the of the uh, of like the million multi million dollar yeah uh, all cards. that is a fucking yeah that that yeah that's another money laundering yeah that that <laughs> yeah so anyway it's tough you can still find games and I'm gonna go out and try mm. but it is definitely harder. These Can you gonna, are you going to get, get the deal. the recording glasses back on? I don't Do think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go that far. But I will. <laughs> like, if I get a big pickup, I'll make a video about it. But I don't. I'm. Mm. Ain't nobody got time time for all that shit. Oh, I'm sure there's probably a lot better glasses now because the ones I had before That's were kind of bulky and ugly. I'm sure. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, I don't know if it's oh Ray Ban. I think Ray Ban has something. They do. Uh, uh, M's friend has them. Yeah, and you yeah. can. The only the I think the only issue with the Ray Ban one is they look great. They look like regular Ray Bans, and they they can record stuff. But I think it's really meant to record moments and not necessarily record like five ten minutes of footage. So like you want to have them to like take a picture or a small thirty second video, um, so that you can kind of cr- have those moments. I guess if yeah, you're on yeah, vacation yeah. or whatever, right? Um, but what I need them to like record on an SD card for you know lengthy periods, periods of, time. of time yeah they probably do still have like some fancier stuff now but yeah those probably. ray-bans i think those ray-bans are like basically just like a social media That's extension it. more or That's less right yeah. 